If I'm going to break any rules, I want it to be making you feel good rather than hurting you. I am sure he'll make me f feel good. I'm shocked your sweater has managed to survive this. At least I won't have to replace that anytime soon. It's not hurting you, right? N no, I'm more than fine. Glad to hear, kitty. I think we'll just do one more and call it a night. Mm, but, but. But what? I. Okay. Final bit of expansion on her end, I finally managed to shut off the sprinkler. She seemed disappointed, obviously, but I couldn't let that get to me. I had to wrap things up. I think I might have to take you home with me for tonight. The others can worry about you for the time being, as if they'd actually care about one of our subjects anyway. I grabbed Pia, who was significantly heavier than I ever thought she could be, and tucked her under my lab coat, just in case. I left the lab soon after that, and brought her to my home. Little did I know that I was more right than I wanted to be. The lab was concerned for a single day about her disappearance, and it was quickly over at the day after. The intense anger I felt for them to forget such a unique and wonderful being was enough for me to quickly give up on sneaking her back in. She didn't deserve that treatment from anyone, so I kept her at my own home, and took care of her to the best of my abilities. Who knew things like that would turn into how they are currently? From that first ever fateful day, to her being my wife now.